really quickly before we get into the video. I really wanted to show you all this. Beautiful, beautiful Petoskey stone. This is one of the ones that was sent in to me. It is so pretty. I love these things so much. They transform like crazy. <laughs> But anyway, for this one, we're going to be doing some exploring in central Montana. Do a little fossil hunting and then a little bit of exploring in the mountains. So I hope you all enjoy. Hey everybody, well I am out looking for some fossils and septarians, which there are some very cool of both in the area that I'm looking right now. Let me see if I can find an example really quick. That's a little septarian. Ooh, it looks like a little bit of shell layer in there. Very cool. One awesome thing about the majority of Montana, always check and make sure that it actually you know, wherever you are falls into that category, but pretty much any road that isn't on private property and not an interstate, you can actually legally pull over and look on road cuts so long as you don't cross any fence lines. So I am in an area with really, really nice exposures into the Mosby sandstone. Ooh, there's some cool gypsum. Awesome. So you can find some really, really cool fossils in this area. Just gotta find the road cuts and make sure you don't cross into anyone's property. Ooh, that's some really pretty gypsum. Selenite, I believe. Very pretty. Just glassy. Stuff is really soft though, so it's not great for working with, but it does make some cool specimens. All right, well, I'm gonna poke around a little bit get to the front of this hill, see if I can find some better stuff. And yeah, I'll be right back. It is just some beautiful country up here. So cool. Well, as you can see, I found a septarian. Nice crystal pocket. I don't see any fossils though. But hey, I will keep looking. That's a good sign. Well, that's gone. Wow, that rolled way farther than I expected. <laughs> okay, now this is pretty cool. Look at that big septarian right here. Just eroding out of this hillside. That is very cool. Sorry, bug just flew into my nose. Awesome. Here's another cool septarian. Again, just eroding out of the hill. You can see all these calcite crystals. That's pretty cool. Is that what I think it is? Yes, okay. So this is what we're looking for. There are actually signs of fossils in this one. I see a little gastropod sticking out right there. So I think I might set my stuff down and go look for, look for, get my hammer out of the car. See if we can dig out some of this formation. Oh, that is cool. Oh, that's awesome. All right, be right back. All right, so I'm getting into this septarian and I'm finding very pretty calcite, but also I can find a good chunk really quick. I have a bunch packed up already. There's just really cool gastropod fossils inside of these. Very, very cool. Of course, I'm not gonna be able to find a good example while I have the camera rolling, but you know, that seems to happen to me a lot. Um, let's see. Okay. Alright, excited to show you this one at the shop because I can tell it's going to be really pretty when it's washed off, but it is just loaded with gastropods. Which 
is just a fancy name for shell fossils. That is awesome. All right, I am in the right area then. Ooh, okay, there is some really pretty calcite over here. That is gorgeous. And these I've worked with before. These polish up wonderfully. Is that, no it's not. I thought I saw a trace, like an imprint from a fossil, but apparently not. Oh, that's a nice one, all right. Yeah, you can see they're just all over up here. Very cool. Okay, now this is cool. Get this out. Caught my eye because I saw some calcite, but see that little beautiful pocket right there? But there is just fossils all throughout that seam. Very, very nice. Ooh, and some oysters. Awesome. Well, cool. I think that's coming with me. That is so cool. That is a massive septarian just slowly eroding out of that hill. And look all the way down, and there's bits of septarian and calcite that are just spilling down here. Also, you can see that the hill kind of glitters. That is gypsum all over the place, selenite, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I am just looking here for just a minute or two more, and then we're going to keep driving because it's getting late a and b we have the dogs with us and for obvious reasons i don't want to let them out because we're you know on a road right now but yeah we also happen to be close to somewhere pretty cool so i'm hoping we can get there in time so if i find anything crazy i'll turn the camera back on but if not i'll see you all in just a little bit Alrighty, well we have reached what I was telling you all about. These are the little snowy mountains, and they are absolutely gorgeous. When I was hunting on the road cuts, I didn't want to let the dogs out for obvious reason, busy highway, but yeah, this is super pretty. Now the cool thing about the snowies is they are right in the middle of a very, very rich exposure of the Madison limestone which is famous for its really, really nice corals, bivalves, and crinoids. You can actually find perfectly intact, full body crinoids. Here's a perfect little clam in here. It's gonna be cool. All right, well, I just peeled this rock out. It looks interesting. There might be some cool stuff in here. I don't know yet. Guess we'll have to wait until I get it cleaned off. Hard to tell, honestly. That might be horn coral. Also might be just quartz. <laughs> I get. We'll find out whenever I get it cleaned off. Alrighty, well, I stopped and looked longer there now and I realized we might stop one more time on our way back out, but as for now, I think we're gonna start heading our way back out. So, I will either see you all in just a minute, or I'll see you at the shop when we go through everything. The dogs, by the way, are loving being in the mountains right now. Oh, it's so beautiful out. Alrighty, we are back. I am back at the shop right now. I've got everything all cleaned off, and let's get some close-ups. Before we get into these, I just wanted to say, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, maybe consider doing so. If you're really into fossil hunting, rock hunting, occasionally shelling, and a lot of carving, then I'm doing a whole lot of that on this channel, so, you know, you might enjoy it. <laughs> Alrighty, well, let's start with some of these septarians. Look at how pretty that brown and yellow calcite is. 
So cool. And these polish wonderfully. I love working with these. Shop phone. And there's some really nice crystals on this one. I don't know how well the camera is going to show it, but really nice crystal formation on that one. And same with this one. Really pretty crystals. See that clear calcite right there? Ah, so cool. And this one, I won't show all of them. A lot of them look very similar, so after a certain point, you'll get the idea. Here's a nice one right here. Yeah, they are just very cool and very fun to work with. Here's a nice, good sized chunk with a lot of variation. There's quite a bit of brown, clear, and yellow calcite in this one. Looks like a little bit of fossils too, so that's always cool. Now we'll move on to some of the fossils. Here is a very nice oyster. It actually still has some of that pearlescent layer, which is very cool. And you can see gastropods throughout the whole thing. Those cool curticue snails. But this right here is just a cool conglomerate because you've got that pearly little oyster right here. These are negative imprints from uh, clamshells and the whole thing is just riddled with those gastropods which is just too cool. Gotta love it. And then there's this one right here which I thought was pretty cool. It's really weathered unfortunately but you can see the cross section of a clam right there and the entire thing filled in with calcite. So this is actually brown calcite. I'm really sad that the shell layer isn't more intact, but either way, still very, very cool. And then you've got a bunch of pieces like this. And if you look, you can just see all A, big weathered clam right here, but there are just gastropods throughout this whole thing, just riddled with them. So cool. And there's this one. And you, I thought the other one was riddled until I saw this one. Here's the back side. You can see, oh, there's my focus. Nice one right there, a couple right here. Just all of those yellow marks are actually the shell. Flip it over, that thing is just riddled. Looks like a piece of Turritella agate. So cool. This one right here though has to be my favorite one. You've got the best of both worlds basically. So you've got these cool calcite veins, a little calcite crystal bug right there. Nice seams of calcite, but that is just loaded with gastropods. Every one of those little squiggly lines is either a fossil sticking out or the cross section of a fossil or lines where fossils are going to be, like these two right here. They're just everywhere. I love it. It's so cool. And then, uh, as for the stuff that I found in the mountains, only a couple actually had confirmed fossils, like this one right here has a nice little clam sticking in. And I can see cross sections of fossils in this one. So this one will too, but the rest was pretty much just empty limestone. But I'm not going to consider it a loss, because that will make for some interesting carving rocks, I'm sure. These are actually great shape-wise for carving because they're very very uniform shape-wise which is it's it's ideal it saves you a lot of time cutting this one has some cool crystal structure on the back side that one I thought was a horn coil actually has some beautiful feldspar running through the whole thing very cool cool bubbly surface ah that's awesome here you can see that feldspar a little better now. It's very cool. Not what I thought it was at all, but it's still very, very cool. I did, however, find this awesome piece. I don't know if it's chert or jasper, but it is absolutely loaded with fossils. You can see cross sections throughout the whole thing. There's actually a little crinoid stack sticking out right there. Beautiful. Rhizoan right here, big clamshell right there. Yeah, this one actually has a lot going on. Oh, also I wanted to show you this really, really pretty crystal of 
selenite. You can find gypsum throughout that entire area. These are just really cool. When they're wet, they're just, they look like ice. Well, I think that is going to do it for this one. I've got to get all these crystal structures and fossils wrapped up and put away. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. It genuinely means a lot to see that you watched to the end. Uh, leave a like if you did actually like it. <laughs> uh, don't hesitate to leave a comment. I know I say it in pretty much every video, but I genuinely love having conversations with all of you. And yeah, I will be getting out back out into the field here pretty soon, but in the meantime, I have some really cool carvings that I'm working on, so those will probably be coming out next, but yeah, anyway, it's going to do it for this one. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in a few days.